Let's now move to Gombe State, where police have arrested a gang of kidnappers after engaging them in a gun duel. The police reveal that the successful rescue operation was made possible by information from the community. Correspondent Larry Adeyemi reports. Each new day in Gombe seems to come with news of a fresh crime. Armed robbery and rape are frequent. Offenses such as kidnapping and cattle rustling are also on the rise. But there is a new sheriff in town. The recently deployed police commissioner is talking tough and he has results to show for it. The rescue of a kidnapped victim is one. The victim was actually picked from his home. They had him on a motorbike, uh, motorbike, but the information got to the hunters and the vigilantes and the police on time so they were able to uh, lay an ambush so when they were approaching they opened fire so you can see that the community policing something is partnership between the public and the police and it's already in the resort another dimension of crime that the command has to contend with is the alleged rape of a 13 year old girl by a 71 year old man the police are prosecuting the accused hoping to show the determination that anyone regardless of how highly placed, would be made to answer for their actions. Those areas we are having problems, the teaching problems we are having, will be addressed. Now is the rainy season, and by the special grace of God, the state, uh, the state government has actually done in, a, a lot for the police. My predecessor told me when, when I arrived here that a lot of police vehicles that were grounded were actually repaired. As law enforcement agencies re-strategize, criminals are also becoming more daring and disingenuous. The police are banking on its community policing strategy to give it the absolute advantage. Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe.